Overbound here. Today I want to show you how you can make some completely automated pixel art clouds just like the ones you see on the screen here. It only takes a second and it's really fun so let's go ahead and get started. Just going to go ahead and delete these and then come over here to the left and select the gradient tool. It, you may have to click over here and find it underneath the paint bucket but the gradient tool should be there. Go ahead and select that and then double click this little gradient you'll see up in the screen. So I've already made one here earlier, but basically the, uh, the idea is the center of our cloud is going to be white, the top of our cloud is going to be this light blue color, and the, the um, sky underneath our cloud is going to be this color here. You can double click these little arrow points to change their colors. I'm going to make this last color just a little bit brighter. Okay, And you can add more by clicking anywhere on, underneath the gradient, and you can pull them off or remove them by just pulling them off. So once I've got this where I like it, which I do, I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm with a new layer, I'm going to take the gradient to, tool and at the I'm going to hold down shift and from the top of my um, artboard here, I'm going to pull all the way down to the bottom. And just like I want. Um, the top of the cloud is going to be this dark color, this dark blue, then it's going to go to white, and the bottom or our sky is going to be this, this color blue. Um, but I, I don't want so many colors since this is supposed to be pixel art, and I want it to have a sort of pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to Image, Mode, Index Color. And this gives us the option to um, reduce the number of colors that are actually being used to generate this image or create this image that we've uh, got in front of us. Um, so we can uh, select selective color or adaptive color to the, from this menu. It, either one of those options will work under palette and set the color to whatever your preference is. I think 8 looks pretty good, but you could try 16 or even go as low as 4. Uh, that's probably stick with 8 though. Um, and then from this little dither menu, it might be set on none originally, but you can select diffusion and set a percentage. 25, 100%, noise is another good one. My favorite is pattern though, so I'm going to use pattern. We just want a little bit of pattern to our clouds. And if you don't want to do this, uh, or if you don't want to use one of these built-in patterns, you can always set this to none and then draw in your own pattern. We, you, you'll, the, pattern, the reason why we need the pattern will make sense here in a minute. So I'll go ahead and um, apply that pattern. And now I'm in index color mode. I need to go back to RGB mode because Photoshop is limited in what it can do in index color mode. So come up back up here to image, mode, and RGB. With that out of the way, uh, the next step and our last step is to come to filter and filter gallery. And this is going to bring up a uh, little filter screen and I've already been playing this from my time before the um, preview but you can see how just with a couple of these filter options it gives you some pretty cool clouds and you can play with them to um, get different effects. Ocean ripple works good. Glass works well. Lots of different options. You can go from big puffy clouds. You might even be able to make some snow out of this. Um, another one that works good is, uh, oops, not dark strokes, sprayed strokes. It kind of looks uh, sort of like um, clouds you might see in um, uh, Yoshi's Story or Yoshi's Island or something like that. But yeah, there's a lot of different effects here you can play in spatter. Um, Sprayed stroke, ocean ripple, and glass seem to work the best for me, but maybe some of these other ones would work for you. But once you're happy with your effect, which I'm going to go with this ocean ripple, I'm going to increase that a little bit. Go with something like that. You can just hit OK, and your effect is applied, and there are your clouds. Um, 
this effect doesn't have to be limited to clouds. If you change your gradient and change your pattern, you could maybe get the tops of a tree or at least the start of the top of a tree out of it. If you uh, made a light green in the center and darker greens uh, on the outside of your gradient. Um, there, there are perhaps other uses for this too, so I encourage you to uh, experiment with it and see what you come up with. So yeah, that's all I want to show today. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Share the video around if you um, have friends that might find this technique useful. Uh, thank you for watching. Overbound out.